From across the Hudson, a series of timeless structures come together to create one of the most unique cityscapes in the country. And although the actual construction plans for this massive project were developed back in 1959, the Empire State Plaza's overall blueprint was etched in stone well before that, during the second half of the 19th century. After the final guns fell silent at the conclusion of the Civil War, New York emerged as one of the wealthiest and most influential states in the Union. It was time for Albany to build a new seat of government, and the 19th century architects and tradesmen tasked with the construction of New York's second Capitol building became a living testament to this newfound spirit of greatness. 32 years and five architects later, New York Governor Teddy Roosevelt declared one of the most beautiful buildings in America complete. The year was 1899. From a distance, the white granite facade in many ways resembles a French chateau, but in truth is a combination of several styles, including Romanesque and Italian Renaissance. Inside, a symphony of genius. Exquisite stone cutting encapsulated the famed Great Western Staircase. Evocative murals accentuated the ceiling of the war room. Granite columns, ornate chandeliers, intricate tile work, and gold leaf breathed life into the Senate and Assembly chambers. It's little wonder that a half century later, this majestic building would become an integral part of Governor Nelson A. Rockefeller's vision for making Albany the most electrifying capital in the world. The Capitol building itself would become the crown of Rockefeller's plan and the architectural design for the Empire State Plaza complex is certainly a reflection of that vision. The apex of the blueprint begins with the Capitol on the north end, capped off on the south by the Cultural Education Center. Three reflecting pools separate the two buildings along a north-south corridor. However, understanding the importance of the Capitol to the overall plan, the architects cleverly designed the east-west axis of the plaza to follow the path of the sun. On the west side sits agency buildings one through four, the Swan Street Building and the Legislative Office Building. On the east, the Corning Tower, the Robert J. Abrams Law and Justice Building, and a Performing Arts Center, affectionately known as the Egg. By design, this east-west flow guaranteed that anyone walking across the plaza would get a glimpse of the Capitol's rich granite exterior bathed in an ever-changing cascade of light and shadow throughout the day. Below the plaza's living roof, the entire complex sits on a six-story pedestal, creating in essence one building connected by art, immersed in culture, and infused with five decades of imagination.